today is a very special day because I am going to get a tour of the Shenzhen Zhongshan Bridge. This is very exciting. I've been to this place before in Suihong. I made a video about the real estate here and the importance of this bridge. You can watch that video here if you like. But now I'm going out to the construction site and getting a tour inside. This is really exciting. It looks like stormy weather a little bit, so it might make for a very interesting tour. There are hundreds of companies working on this bridge project. I'm here at one of them. We have thunder and lightning ahead of above us. It's getting really loud. So we'll see how this uh, plays out for the, for the trip. As you can see here, we have sections of the road that are being built right here on site. The bridge is right over there. That's the entrance. You can see it drops off. And then in the distance, they have the big towers. That's just for the bridge section. For the other section on the Shenzhen side, because it's so close to the airport, it will actually go underneath the ocean and it will be one of the largest undersea tunnels in the world. That is a completely different thing than what we see here on this side, the Zhongshan side. Both projects are gonna be combined in what they call the Zhongshan Shenzhen Link. It is one of the most important infrastructure projects in Guangdong. This is all supposed to be completed within the next three years. If you look at the Pearl River Delta, it looks like a triangle, right? So you got Guangzhou at the tip, and then at the two ends at the bottom, you've got Hong Kong and Macau. Now you know about the Hong Kong Zhuhai Macau Bridge. It was open a couple years ago. And that bridge is an important link for the future. In order to drive from Zhongshan to Shenzhen is about a two hour endeavor. You have to go all the way north to the Humen Bridge. And that bridge is constantly packed with cars, lots of traffic. I've done it many, many times. You can take a ferry over to Shenzhen, but you have to wait for ferry times. It's about a 45 minute ride. And then that takes you to the Shenzhen airport. This bridge will cut that travel time down to about 20 minutes. And it will make Shenzhen, which is one of the most expensive real estate markets, give a little bit of relief over to Zhongshan, which is one of the more affordable cities in the Pearl River Delta. So it's gonna be commutable. This area, the Tsuihong area of Zhongshan, is really the new district that is being built up in the city. This is going into the bridge eventually. So this is known as the Wisdom Girder Field. This company can produce five to seven of these sections per month. There's 155 of these concrete pieces that are about 60 meters long and 636 pieces that are 40 meters long. Each one of these represents four lanes, four lanes in each direction for a total of eight lanes on the bridge. They just started laying them on the bridge section uh, out at sea. They weigh 2,752 tons, or the equivalent of 1,800 cars. <laughs> That's a lot of weight. Standing underneath this thing, my head kind of hits the top a little bit, right? It's uh, just thinking about how much weight is above me. <laughs> it's quite remarkable. You know, all of this rebarb has to be threaded and tied by hand all the way down for the entire length of the project. It is a very tedious, monotonous job, but one of the most important ones as you gotta start from the beginning. As you can see, it's a very, very hot and humid day. Even though it's about to rain, it is summer here in Zhongshan. And these guys are out here every day in this heat, working hard. And then from this warehouse, just outside the door, you can see there's the bridge right there. Okay, I've come to the water's edge. This is the Lingding Yang Sea, which is separates Zhongshan uh, from Shenzhen, 24 kilometers on the other side of the bay. This bridge is going to link it all. This level of access is unprecedented. For little old me, this is really a treat. But, being as fair skinned as I am, it put sunscreen on. So after spending some time at the factory, now we're gonna get out on the boat and actually go out to the bridge. We're gonna go out to the islands. We're gonna check this out. I love boats. The, the logistics of putting all of this together really blows the mind. The vessel that we're going on is about 60 or 70 feet long. Not a very wide beam, actually. It's pretty, it's pretty, uh, pretty small beam. It looks like a standard ferry boat. Looks very seaworthy. I love the smell of diesel in the morning. <laughs> I'm headed out on the boat now. 
It's gonna take us a few minutes to get out there. The East Island is 24 kilometers to the other side of the bay, and we're gonna hit a couple of points along the way. Moving along at a pretty good crisp. As you can see, the safety is very important out here. I can really feel the wind. This flash with the wave is in you, it's great. Behind me, this is the, the east tower of the Zhongshan Bridge. This is the small one. The big one is a few more kilometers out to sea. Over here, you can see there's a, uh, a support road that's been built out to sea so that the workers can access each one of the pylons going all the way out to the main Ling Ding Yang Bridge. We saw at the factory the girders being built, right? They've actually laid the first two out here in the middle of the bridge. Right there, that's the first laying of the roadway for this massive sea bridge. They actually have a concrete uh, factory on an artificial island out here to supply the concrete for not just the pilings but these towers as well. These towers are approximately the same size as a 90-story office building. The whole span is 2,826 meters long with the main span 1,666. It is the tallest sea bridge in the world when it's completed. From the road deck down to the sea level is about 91 meters. That's big. This is the East Tower. The East Tower on the right hand side was capped just recently, a few days ago, at 270 meters. We're headed out towards the West Island where the connection will actually start to go under the ocean and rest on the sea bottom and then gets shut out at the Shenzhen Airport on the other side of the bay. We've arrived at the West Island. You can see I'm skipping around because I'm having a lot of fun on this one. This is a great mural that shows where we're at. All right, there, you can see there the bridge right there. That's the Zhongshan Bridge, the Ling Ning Yang Bridge. And it comes down into this island right here. And that's where we're standing right now, where the roadway will go underneath the ocean and rest on the seabed all the way to Shenzhen, which is out which is out in this direction. You can fairly see the airport right over there. Boy, it is a hot, hot day out here on the island. I mean, there's no trees. It's an artificial island. I can walk all over this island. So this is where the, the bridge connects with the West Island and then down into the tunnel it goes. So behind this wall, you can kind of make it out two directions, one in each direction, eight lanes going into the tunnel. This is going to be the largest underwater tunnel of its kind. It's actually nine meters wider and bigger than the Hong Kong Zhuhai Macau Bridge, just about oh, 30 kilometers south of us. I'm standing at the entrance to just one of the tunnel. This tunnel is four lanes of traffic, and this one's actually headed westbound. The eastbound one is on the other side of this wall. The technology going into this is unprecedented. I can't tell you what a privilege it is to have the opportunity to stand here in the road, in the middle of the road. When this bridge is done and open to the public, you're not gonna be able to do this. Wow, it's quite a feeling to walk into here. I've been told that currently they have about 10 uh, 10 of these blocks in place. This island is 625 meters long, about 456 meters wide. It's roughly the same size as 19 football fields and built in record time, four and a half months. To build it, they use these giant um, steel cylinders that are about 28 meters in diameter and they weigh, I don't know, a couple hundred tons, 1600 tons. All right, I'm standing at the seam 
of the land and the ocean. Beyond me, this tunnel is all underneath the ocean, going about 6.8 kilometers that way. There are 33 of these blocks, each one weighing about 60,000 tons. The size of them, each one roughly a medium-sized aircraft carrier. The walls around is like a sandwich where the pieces of bread are still reinforced concrete, doubling the strength of this incredible engineering feat. Boy, it is really, really hot down here. I'm sweating like a... Where I'm standing right now is actually underneath the water. It goes off <laughs> into the distance. Too far for me to see. Oh, this yeah. is Peng Gao. He's one of the engineers on this project. He was nice enough to spend some time with me today and tell me about this. This is e hunting ad. Uh huh. You can transport the, the sea. Okay. So right here, this is one of the sections. Yeah. Right? This is the one section of the tunnel. Yeah. And then that is transported. Here, here. You can see it right here. Transported, submerged, and then it will be dropped into place right down there. Yeah. I mean, the bridge itself and the tunnel itself are incredible pieces of engineering, but the machines, the tools, the boats, the vessels, all of this is incredible engineering in its own right. From this way to other way, it's uh, divided to 33 sections. Each section is uh, 165 long, 17.7 all right, 17.7 meters high. And I know it's four lanes in each direction. This is just the, this is the westbound lanes. How fast can I drive my car in this highway? We can drive 100 kilometers each hour. Safely, <laughs> under the ocean, out to Boan Airport, right? Yeah, yeah. Boan Airport, wow. Okay, well, thank you very much for showing me around. It's nice meeting yeah. you. Okay. All right. <laughs> well, the renderings of the finished project look amazing it looks like a beautiful piece of architecture and it looks like they're gonna have a visitor center maybe even a museum at the parking lot so you can come and learn about this <laughs>